road again, going places that I've never been, seeing things that I may never see again. I can't wait to hear everybody say right here. We are exiting the Hollywood Bowl where we just saw Willie Nelson, Bob Dylan, and John Mellencamp. That was really good. Any particular thoughts? Well, I, for one, you can, you can still hear a little Willie Nelson because we're leaving yeah. a bit early. Why? Because the seats at the Hollywood Bowl, if you don't know, suck. Yeah. Yeah. It's we love the ball, but that's one of the things you have yeah. to deal with is that the seats are not going to be good. Let's just start off from the beginning. The security people working the line were doing a great job at getting that line moving. Yeah. Like that's the fastest I've ever gotten through. They, we got pizza. Now, I don't think the pizza should really be fully a part of this, but spoiler alert, it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts on the Hollywood Bowl in general? Hollywood Bowl? Because we've, all we've done is bitch about the food and uh, seats. Hollywood Bowl is amazing. It's a beautiful venue with an amazing view around it. You can see the Hollywood sign from the nosebleeds. Plus, as long as you don't get the pepperoni pizza, their food's actually pretty good. Then we got our seats and a few minutes later, John Mellencamp started. Take it out in the small town I'm a self-involved in this small town First man to let down the bottom to this small town That small town is like me And he played for like an hour 15 He was great yeah, did you know a lot of those songs, or were they all new to you? A lot of them were new to me. A few of the hits I knew. Small Town. Jack and Diane, maybe. Yeah. He was playing really well. Had a good band with him. What was one of the kind of bummers about that set, though? The TVs were showing the band just as tiny as they looked already. Until Willie Nelson started playing, and they were fine. But John Mellencamp and Bob Dylan, the screens were a problem. John Mellencamp ended, Bob Dylan plays a great live show. But one thing you have to know he will not play all the songs you know. Yeah. He plays all the deep cuts. You try to get away. But they drag you back. Come on, Friday. Let's see what it brings. Everybody's talking. And only like a couple hits. I think the two hits he played were Ballad of a Thin Man and Simple Twist of Fate. He woke up. He was gone. I didn't see nothing but the dog. I'd out of bed and put his shoes back on. But it was back to mind. Now the note she left behind, what to say? Say you should have left me back in 58. Could have avoided this little simple push. And those are pretty deep cuts for hits. <laughs> but 
his backing band was great. You know how Bob Dylan sounds super weird when he's singing? <laughs> Ten uh. times weirder live. But it's kind of cool. I think it was better than when we saw it at the Santa Barbara Bowl. Yeah. He played even deeper cuts, but he was just more in the groove than that set ended. Willie Nelson started, and he was playing great. Yeah. Um, a lot of hits on the road again. A lot again. of hits. Every one of them was it. Yeah. I, I really liked it when they did, um, if I die when I'm high, I'm halfway to heaven. And if I die when I'm high, I'll be halfway to heaven. Or I might have a long way to fall. Uh -huh. With his son, that was really good. Yeah, everything was great. But after a while, I was getting tired. Everything was starting to hurt. Yeah. So we ended up leaving a bit before Willie Nelson ended. It was a great show overall. All right, what would you give it? I'd say I'm giving it like a nine out of 10. A nine out of 10, all right. It was quite good. Yeah. You were always on. from the video you are currently watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I do stuff with my band, Still Deciding, originals, covers, and concert reviews. So if you're interested in any of that, please make sure to do the things I've already told you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.